Hey guys, how is everybody? I hope everybody's well. I hope you're all having a great week. Uh, we part two to our little 351, 346 conversion. Um, if you've not seen the other video, I'll try to put it at the end of this one. Basically, I show unboxing this cylinder and we pull the top end off of the saw and I give you a quick look at what came off of it. And, you know, it was a good strong running saw. It just for what I want to do with the saw was just not what I wanted at this time. Um, I probably will use that cylinder and piston on something else later on down the road. I had a lot of time importing it. Um, but anyway, with that said, uh, where we're at, I put the cylinder on, take note, these numbers are without a base gasket. If you want to run a base gasket, things are going to look a little different. Uh, if you're putting this over on a 350 or something with the bearing riser, uh, numbers may look a little different. Um, it is what it is. Uh, but I think you'll come up with something similar to what I've got here regardless. But, uh, squish 28 thousandths, that's not god awful bad. You'd have a little better pot than what you would have with, you know, this saw stock and running a base gasket to leak and if it had that damn dish piston you're gonna have a lot better pop over what you had with that but uh exhaust uh, 106 it was more like 106 and a half but we'll just call it 106 um that is honestly where i set the exhaust at on my 340 build that i done with the warhawk cylinder lots of video on the channel of that saw um I really enjoy it. It's a fun, snappy little saw. We'll just leave it at that. But uh, transfers 124, and that's primary and secondary. Checked on both. Fire dead even at the same time. Um, and the intake 74. Uh, man could do a simple woods port on this. Throw a little intake timing at it. Uh, you know, widen the ports a little. Polish the exhaust if you, if you want to. You don't have to. Uh, a lot of controversy out there on that, but uh, 1% is 1% and I'll leave it at that. Um, most of us just do it to give it more of a professional look anyway and to keep carbon from building up. And yes, it does keep carbon from building up. I ain't gonna argue it with anyone. I pulled the saws apart we've milled lumber with and the exhaust port just barely has a haze of a film of uh, oil on it that makes any sense but uh we polish our ports here again one percent's one percent but with that said um, you know you could do that nine out of ten people are going to be happy but those of you that have hung around here for a while kind of know me better than that that's not what we're going to do um, we're going to take this on to a completely different level and hope it holds together but with that said, I've got to shut you guys off. I've got to get to cutting a mandrel down in the lathe to fit this cylinder. Once I get it about done, um, I may set the camera up and video a swipe or two of it. Just to show some of you guys what's kind of going on with it and why we're doing it. Um, but honestly, it's probably most of what I'm going to be doing this evening, sadly, is making a mandrel turn the cylinder down and cut the squish band in it. Um, but with that said, I'll quit running my mouth. I'll shut you guys off and I'll bring you back once we've got more to show. All right, guys, machine work's done. If you remember, it had 28,000 squish. Well, I pulled about that much off the base and then pulled my material back out of the band to get the squish. 
back to 20 thousandths again if it makes any sense so uh we pulled i don't know around 30 off of the base i guess and then somewhere around 20 out of the band uh, these could be taken further i suppose but i think that this will get us close to where we want to be um what did that do to port timing well it moved everything two and a half three degrees um barely gonna have to touch the intake to hit our timing mainly just you know uh shape and texture work which damn thing don't look half bad as is and on our exhaust uh, but we'll have to move it back a little ways not much to I've got some numbers in my head I think will work um, they don't they don't they do they do but uh I think it'll be just fine um, as far as the transfers um, probably what we'll do is there's just the least little bit of lip here kind of like a 372 but not as bad um, we'll pull that down unshroud them a little bit and do some texture work and then I will be moving the uppers back some and uh, changing the angle on them so uh, hopefully the next video uh, we get into actual port work on this and then you know it's kind of all downhill from there it won't take you know 15 20 minutes to throw it back together or put it back together you don't ever want to throw anything together but i tried to get some little bitty bits and pieces of doing a little bit of machine under this and making the mandrel depending on how it turns out it'll be whether i clip it in this video or not but uh this will be the end of part two i guess um as always, you guys enjoy the rest of your week. Have a good weekend, and everybody try to have a good day.